Hi, everybody. This is Kelly from the Wisdom Within series. And I am super excited because I'm talking all the way across the ocean to the UK this morning with my friends, Deborah Simmons and Beck Sheffield. Hi, ladies. Hi. So, <laughs> so we had a bit of a conversation around um, the relationship to self and some of the things that the three of us um, were part of last year and may, many years before in an understanding that speaks to who we really are and a place that um, some of us are going through in learning who we really are while we go through these times. And uh, these girls have been down lockdown and they are a family together. So they live in the same house. So no rules being broken there, even in the UK. Hey ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we are auntie and niece, but we do at the moment we are sharing house. We are living and working together. So yeah, it's been quite handy with the lockdown that we have still been able to work together because we do live together. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. And and they've they have a business called Dare to Be You, and the the they're in the business right at current moment to talk about relationships and relations, the relations to all things. Mm -hmm. And as we talk about the relationship to self today, um, I'm going to turn it over to them so that they can just dive into what they do and where they have found their understanding and how they're going to help everybody else. Cool. cool. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Um, well, in it, oh, obviously <laughs> Kelly just said, you know, our business is called Dare to Be You. And that came about um, because for the longest time I lost myself. You know, I was in a very, very unhealthy relationship for a lot of years. And in that I lost who I was. And kind of when I found myself again, if you like, when I got to, to know um, and even a deeper truth about who I am. When I got to know that, it became, you know, it was really clear to me that people needed to know this because I could see that that is where I had got into so many, um, so many problems within my relationship. And I saw that all of those problems stemmed from not knowing who I was. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where Dare to Be You came from. Um, and I know that Beck had similar experiences, didn't you? That, yeah, so um, Deb, being my auntie, I kind of watched her in this unhealthy relationship. I kind of knew something wasn't right. And then when I was having problems of my own, I'd sort of seen her come out of this relationship and just blossom into this person I, I didn't know she was. Um, so when I was having kind of my own sort of difficulties, um, it, was, it was both a work relationship and a romantic relationship that had just gone horribly wrong in, in all sorts of ways. Um, and I was kind of on the cusp of a bit of a breakdown. And so it was natural that I kind of went, Auntie Deb, help. <laughs> um, and very much kind of what she shared with me was just about exactly like Kelly was saying there, the relationship with myself, like to start with me. And what I really kind of notice at the moment with, you know, whether you're watching this and you're actually officially in lockdown, like we are in England, or whether it's kind of self-isolation or, you know, wherever you're at with, with the, um, the situation at the moment, what kind of comes under the microscope here is first and foremost, our relationship with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like if you're kind of at home on your own for the first time, kind of in your own headspace all the time, it can really bring some stuff up and really kind of highlight where we're uncomfortable with ourselves. And that definitely was what kind of went on for me sort of four or five years ago. I really, it really came to the forefront that I didn't know myself. I didn't understand how life worked. Um, I was very unhappy with myself and just found myself in extremely unhealthy situations. And very much kind of what we share now is how that happens for us, how we can innocently misunderstand how life works and get ourselves into all sorts of messes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And we share a lot, we share a very, very simple understanding of how life works, you know, how it is you are getting to have whatever experience it is you're having at the moment. Because I don't know about you, but we've been speaking to a lot of people online, obviously, um, <laughs> since this has all kind of come about. And there are an awful lot of people having very different experiences of the exact same thing. You know, some people are in lockdown and absolutely loving the time to kind of get quiet, loving the space that they're getting 
morning, loving the fact that they are not going out to work. And other people are totally, totally freaking out. Um, and what is interesting is, you know, how is it that human beings get to have the same experience of a different thing? And then kind of those sort of things, when I first sort of started to see that, I got curious for myself and I noticed that I can have a different experience of the same thing. You know, some days I really, really, you know, my partner can be like the best thing since sliced bread. I'm absolutely head over heels. You know, I look at him and think he's so cute and he's so, <laughs> you know, he's gorgeous. And then another day, the poor man doesn't do a, a thing. And then, you know, just the fact that he's in the room is annoying me. <laughs> and it's like, how does that happen? How do we get to have such different experiences of the same thing, what is going on there. And I think we, we innocently assume, you know, as when we become adults or whatever, as we grow up, we start to make assumptions about life and how it works. And we innocently just assume things and believe things that look so clear to us and obvious. But there's a whole lot of other things that are probably so close to us a little bit like um, a goldfish in water you know the water is so obvious that maybe the goldfish might miss it and i think as human beings there are certain things like that for example that we are capable of having a very different experience of the same thing it just kind of happens and most of the time we don't even notice that is going on um, but kind of in the work that beck and i do you know we point to that and then kind of say to people what do you think's going on there? And then we sort of explain some of the things that we have seen around that. The fact that we have the ability as human beings to have thoughts and then take those thoughts seriously. So if I have the thought, you know, my partner's really cute and he's really nice and he's really helpful, then I feel that thinking in that moment, he looks really cute, he looks really helpful, he looks like a really great guy. And then another time, you know, if I'm not in that kind of mood and I'm a little bit low or a little bit fed up, if I have the thought, you know, he's lazy, he gets in the way, he's annoying, that's what he looks like to me. And, you know, I noticed that as my thinking changes, my experience changes. It's not like he can be the same man, you know, he doesn't change in that. And yet my experience of him changes. And I can see the same thing happens for him. You know, I can see some days he's really head over heels about me. He thinks I'm great. And another day, you know, he just looks at me and I think, oh, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> he looks like he's upset with me. <laughs> it's true. It, it's, it's true of our, of our thinking, the illusions, the illusions that thought sometimes takes us into believing that we're feeling and thinking a reality. When in actual fact, it's just a thought that can pass through us or move aside and we can grab onto something that is more true, more real and brings us back into alignment of who we really are. And, and your husband who's sitting right beside you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think the, um, uh, the understanding of getting a better relationship with self and the the way that um, all of us here point to um, point back at self yeah. to say, okay, let's have a look at this. And you know, we're we're not perfect human beings. We fall out and we come back in, and we fall out and come back in. And it's it's just the fact that what's been true for me is that once you see this, you can never not see it again. Yeah. <laughs> it just keeps giving, <laughs> you know, and we, you know, in the beginning, it's sort of the, the, the struggle between, oh, there I am again. <laughs> Would you agree? Yeah, totally, Absolutely. totally agree. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we're just about to launch something called Relationship School um, um, on Monday. Um, and I was just chatting to Lou, who was doing um, an interview with me and talking to me about, you know, what did I wish that I had known, you know, before I came across this understanding, when I was getting into all that trouble in my relationship, you know, what was one of the things that I wish I'd known? And it was very much something about myself. I wish that I had known that I was whole and complete. I wish that I had known what was within me. 
I wish that I had known that I had everything that I need already because I very much, you know, when I was 16, 17 and first getting into relationships, I went in from a place of, I need somebody to complete me and I need someone to make me happy. And I also believe that I was going to complete someone else and I, it was my job to make someone else happy. And those two things, you know, believing that that was how life worked, that someone else, it was their job to make me happy and my job to make other people happy. And that was how I tried to live my life for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And the knowing, you know, since I've come across this understanding, seeing that I am whole and complete, that's the starting point. I have everything within me. And so does everybody else. And trusting that other people have that and knowing that for myself has been a game changer. It's been transformational. And yet it sounds so simple. <laughs> well, that's the beauty of our mind is it, it loves to have some trickery, some yes. mystery. Yes. <laughs> and and, and, and we're, when we see all of who we really are and you know, I always call it, I say, um, when I'm talking to others about bridging, you know, I'm bridging with the greater understanding of who I really am. And I'm aligning myself with that. Mm -hmm. Then all the at rest falls away. And, and we have that understanding within us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, I, I have to say, it's a beautiful thing. You know, the fallouts can be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit upheaving, but the, the gift that I have to bring it back is, is where I find my resilience. Mm -hmm. So ladies, um, the listeners will want to know how to get a hold of you and possibly jump into the relationship school. And that's coming on Monday, which is the seventh, is it? Let's see. Six. It's the sixth. Yes, the sixth. <laughs> and although they're in the UK, um, you can get a hold of them and Time Buddy will tell you what time they're they're um, they're at and uh, if it's feasible for people to jump in. How can they get a hold of you? What would be the best way? Yeah, sure. It's probably the best way is our website, which is um, dare to be you. That's the number two, the letter B and the letter U. dot co. dot uk. Dare to be you. dot co. dot uk. And then everything about us, including relationship school, is on there. Yeah, and you can find us on Facebook as well. Dare to be you. We've got a group. Dare to be you. And there's a purple heart at the end of that so and hopefully anywhere if we put this video out anywhere we'll try and as best we can we'll try and put some information under it too so <laughs> beautiful beautiful well it's been my utmost pleasure to celebrate you two and get reconnected we actually met in london last year when we yeah, were we doing some of this work and i miss you both dearly oh, and I look, forward to, I look forward to everything that you offer and uh, sharing this with um the go for you group and the rest of the world out there so that more of us can see yeah. so this is kelly with the wisdom within series and my friends at beck and deb at dare to be you thank you so thank much. you so it's been much really kelly. Beautiful it's been to lovely to, yeah it's been lovely to catch up with you thank you thank you both cheers kelly